Another big story, sentencing day just hours away for former Governor Bob McDonald. Four months after a jury found him guilty of corruption, it is time to see what punishment he'll get. To help his cause, the judge has received more than 400 letters asking for leniency. Prosecutors are still asking for at least 10 years in prison, but how much will he end up getting? We have two reports tonight, beginning with 10 on your side's Andy Fox and the expert opinion on that prison time. Andy? Tom and Nicole, we are on the threshold, as we reported, of history. The threshold of history in Virginia. Never before has a Virginia governor been convicted and now sentenced for crimes he committed while in office. The question is, how much time will former Governor Bob McDonald get? Federal prosecutors are asking for former Governor Bob McDonald to get at least 10 years in prison for corruption while in office. That is in line with federal sentencing guidelines. Norfolk attorney Andrew Sachs thinks McDonald will get less than that. I think that it's likely he will get somewhere between eight and nine years. Sachs represented former Newport News delegate Phil Hamilton, who got nine and a half years for bribery and extortion, but could have received more than 11 years. Because of the exceptional good character, that's a, a, a weighty factor as well. The judge conceivably could go down a couple of years from that 10-year bottom end and perhaps feel like he's still serving all the factors that he needs to serve. Sachs doesn't think Judge James Spencer will deviate much from the guidelines, could send the wrong message to other politicians. The court is going to be under a lot of pressure because of who this defendant is not to do something that appears aberrant because of who he is. McDonald plans to appeal because he maintains he broke no state laws, which Judge Spencer's jury instructions acknowledge. That he was convicted for doing things that they say no other public official has ever been convicted of doing, and they intend to challenge that. But McDonald will likely not remain free on bond pending his appeal. For Judge Spencer to allow that would indicate he believes there's a likelihood McDonald's conviction could be reversed. That means the trial judge has to find that he, in spite of all that he or she did to make it a fair trial, may have committed some error that rises to that level. And that's a hard burden to overcome. To put all of this out on bond issue in perspective, Andrew Sachs represented the Bank of the Commonwealth's former CEO, Ed Woodard, who got 23 years in prison for bank fraud. He is appealing his conviction, but remains in prison while he does that. And that will likely be McDonald's fate as he goes through his appeal process as well.